Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're gonna create a table and add rows and columns in PowerPoint. So let's start. So first of all, we have to insert a table from the insert menu and then click on add table and then we can have options to pick how many rows we want and how many columns we want. So in here you can clearly see that we have picked already five rows and six columns. So we, this can be five rows and seven columns. Or also this can be three rows and five columns. So maybe we are gonna click here. Okay, let's pick that. And we have a table created for us and then we can reposes this and rearrange all the all of these elements of this table so let's say we have just this table so in here at the header menus we can rename them all of these sections also name contact email address what group that's it so we have all of these informations done so once we wish to change anything of the table then we can do that also from here like if you wish to right click right click and we have we can have an option of inserting below inserting to the right so these are these basic options for a table or from here we can insert in a particular thing like from insert column to the left, insert column to the right, which means columns are pointed to the right and left and rows are below or above of this section. So, so which means these are the rows. Okay, so if you wish to create a row, then you can insert from here. I'm inserting here and we can insert a row below one more thing and if you wish to insert a new column then you can click on here and from the insert button you can insert a row to the right or left area so which means we have already created five and we have added one more row so these are the thing basics very basics also, you can change the design of this table just by picking up the table design sections. You can have a, a lot of themes available for you. You can choose between them. These are really good though. Okay, we're gonna head to the ba very basic sections. And if you wish to change anything, borders, shading, effects, stylings, and the stroke sizes or weights these are the thing that you can do that also we can add them edit them or delete them maybe we can erase 